Hey, Virgo. What's up? What's up? What's up? I hope that you all had a good day. We're just going to get started on your reading. The Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to say something, or maybe you want to say something to them. Oh, somebody's stressing you the fuck out, Virgo. Are you? Could be stressing them out. Ooh. Um, this person is stressful. It's stressful, but this person really does dig you. All right. There's there's some feelings of, oh, wow, I can make it work with this person. Okay. I can make it work with Virgo. Oh, we got the Ten of Pentacles. This is it's stress. It's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? song I'm hearing, I'm hearing, um, it's hard out here for a pimp when he's trying to get the money for his rent. Got to get, what is it? Got the gaslight, whatever, something in a gas, gaslight and something spent. Got a whole lot of bitches jumping ship. <laughs> From, um, damn, what's the name of that movie? Um, I can't think of it. That's with Terrence Howard. When he was wanting to be a, a, a singer or a rapper or something like that. And he ended up going to jail. So it's like, it's hard out here. It's, it's hard out here for everybody. But it's damn sure hard out here for a pimp. But in this F, in this in this reference for this reading, not hookers and hoes and all that other kind of stuff, uh, Virgo. Just it's hard out here, you know. And it's like it's hard out here for a motherfucking Virgo. I'm telling you. But and I just feel like it's some stress here, you know. Um, though you're still moving on, you're still striving. But we got weight here. It's like too much week at the end of the money and and I'm, I'm just tired of struggling and and when you do communicate with somebody you don't want to feel like you're complaining but at the same time it's a lot of shit to deal with okay seven of cups you know and the king of cups so this is choice making it a choice like do you even have a choice you know but this could be some sort of conversation that you're having with somebody here. You know, and it's just about life, about what's going on. Yeah, you struggle, I struggle, and, you know, maybe we can struggle together. This could be a business deal or a business transaction or or if you want to make a deal with somebody, wait, okay? This person may be really nice to look at, very, very sexy, easy on the eyes. I don't give a fuck if, if they, somebody wants you to buy a car and somebody wants you to move into a house, wait, be patient, don't rush. Take your time. This is about you taking your time. Look at the fine print, Virgo. Look at the fine print. Because listen, it's hard out here for a pimp. Okay? For anybody. All right. See? It's got to be something about a car. It could be a car. It could be you moving, relocating, whatever. Take your time. Don't rush. Don't think just because this person is kind of handsome or beautiful, nice to look at. You know, pimping ain't easy. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of kind of beware of what you're getting yourself into, whatever. Just make the best, try to make better decisions. Because if you don't, if you go ahead, go off into this because you think this man or this woman is super fine and hella sexy, you're going to end up getting your feelings hurt, okay? You're going to end up getting your feelings hurt. Just take your time, you know, uh, cross the, the T's and dot your I's and, and whatever, okay? But there's definitely some a level of stress here. And it's, it's you don't even have to call it into existence. But if you go off into this situation willy-nilly, rushing to get a situation handled or something handled, you're going to end up getting your feelings hurt. Just take your time. I didn't say not to. I just said take your time. Eight of swords. You definitely have to take your time. See, there could be some kind of conflict or something didn't turn out the way somebody said that it would because they were just looking at you. You were looking at them. And that could be some energy around like somebody is really nice to look at. But then, you know, that I was mesmerized by this person's eyes or whatever, that whip appeal. And, you know, and then and, and, and they got me. They got me. But I definitely see some some power struggles here. This this could be a conversation coming, some sort of argument after the fact. You may have to get somebody else involved. But if you would have took took your time and, and just not rushed into a situation, then everything would be all great. But I just feel like this person's going to come into your life to help you. If, if you know, but it's more so I'm hearing about you taking the time to read those questions the right way or making sure you know what you're getting yourself into when you sign some sort of contract even a rental contract look the three of swords you know i just feel like you got to take your time don't rush into this because it sounds good or you think it may feel good or, or you think this person may be 
hotter than a firecracker. Slow your roll, Virgo. Slow your roll. It's all about you slowing down. It's about not about you ru not rushing, you know, into a situation because you need to. Just hold on. What are you doing? Don't rush. You know, take your time. Look at other options. There are other options out there. We did have the seven of of cups. So there are other options for you. You just don't want to just go, like I said, all willy-nilly into a situation because you need to or you have to. Take your time. Slow down. Okay? Slow down. And I definitely feel like if you just slow down and proceed with caution, um, it'll work out for you eventually. All right? But if you rush into it, it's going to feel good for the moment. Yeah. But ultimately, you're going to be the one to end up getting hurt. Um, not hurt physically, but there's definitely some sort of deal. And whatever this deal is, you're not the first person, especially used cars. Um, not, you know, not the certified used cars, but, you know, those used cars be on almost every other corner you see. Buy here, pay here, that kind of shit. Watch out, because they didn't got a lot of people that way. A whole lot of people. That's the boss sitting down collecting all the money. They got one of their dummies, the people at the, at the, at the, on the parking lot. You know, trying to sell you a car, trying to make it look good and sawdust in the doggone tank. And, and you know what I'm saying? Just make it run good until you pull it off the lot. Then you're going to have all kind of problems. So stop. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. People peeking around the corner, trying to sue these people for what they've done. Okay. To other people selling people lemons and they watching them. It's like they have a cult, like. BBDB probably watching them. Other people probably watching their company. And they're going to have a lot of lawsuits. So kind of watch out. You don't want to be, be a part of that. Run. Okay? Listen. Run, Forrest. Run. Get the fuck up out of Dodge. Don't buy that car from those people. Don't do it. Even the dog saying, woof, woof, woof. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Watch it, Virgo. Okay? See? Don't do it. Okay? Um... Because if you do get that car or some sort of apartment without really paying attention to what you're getting into, it's going to be over before you know it. Okay? Over before you know it. We got the high priestess. Listen to your intuition. Okay? Like the hangman. Just hold on a little bit longer. And If you hold on a little bit longer, hold out. Whether it's a new car, a new direction, new job, whatever. In the end, it's going to make you very happy. But definitely listen to your intuition okay, about this because there's definitely something going on with some sort of new endeavor that you're trying to do. And it's not it's not as gravy or, or kosher as you may think it, it is. It's just for outward appearances. It's just for outward appearances. All right. 